Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm releasing the second episode of the webinar. If you haven't seen the first episode, then go back and watch the first episode. Uh, that'll give you a better idea. And also thanks for the love that you've been showering on our mentorship group. A lot of you have been giving us really, really positive feedback and I'm glad that our free mentorship groups are helping you. And if you haven't checked out the mentorship group, uh, do check it out. It's there in the description. It's a bunch of Bitsplani students helping out you guys so that you can ace Bitsat. Hope you like the webinar. It answers a lot of critical questions that you guys have been asking asking me about and uh, this webinar has been taken by really good students who aced Bitsat uh, way better than me. The webinar might be a little bit long so do watch until the end because it's super comprehensive and answers a lot of questions and that will make you more prepped and more equipped to ace a lot of entrance exams. How is the CSE faculty at Bitscoa? UV as far as I've heard uh, it's really good. The placements are also quite decent. It's uh, The average placement is around 22 lakhs per year which is uh, amazing and yeah, so that just proves CSC faculty is pretty competent. Code Chef rank one is from our college, whoa. So if you guys don't know what Code Chef is, it's a competitive coding platform. It's very renowned and ranking over there is, uh, it's, it's quite a big deal. Like all top IITs, students from all top IITs compete over there and Code Chef rank one is from our college, Pittsburgh. So yeah. Uh, Vedantu series for uh, chemistry, especially organic, they had some really good questions with some exceptions and all. I think they were good. I used to work. Apart from that, uh, I, I actually didn't use uh, any, U any YouTube as a source to study organic. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. And uh, one last thing I would like to say, like, uh, do revise your notes like if you have made any whether they are coaching notes or like have you made your own notes by reading stuff on your own just do make sure that you revise them and not only once mm -hmm. just give them a read like twice or thrice at least and for ncrt chemistry i would specifically say our teacher also used to say give them a read at least twice or thrice so you are like uh, the concepts are on your tips okay while solving questions you have been preparing since the last two years Whatever you have studied, be sure to revise it. Like, uh, otherwise, it's just a waste of those two years. Whatever, whether you went to a coaching or whether you studied some book, it's just, it will just be a waste if you don't revise that stuff. True. You have to review it. You have to apply it in the mock tests. You have to do it. Like, uh, otherwise, it's just going to be wasted. True. So keep revising, Dikshita. And there's a channel called Anytime Padai, so if you want to check uh, check it out, uh, it's for organic. But yeah, always stick to your notes and keep revising them. Okay. Did anyone do SL Aurora? Bro, I mean, as people said, do whatever book you have uh, and then try solving mocks. And if you're able to solve the mocks, then it's good to go. If you aren't, then focus on the weak topics. The book re uh, really doesn't matter. But at this point, use book for reference bro like those mm. solving books are uh, right now because i feel it's too late to solve a book and yeah. i actually did that mistake bro uh, for physical chemistry i used to solve uh, i think op tendon but later mm. on this sir uh, like new chemistry sir came towards the end so he commented me to like uh, try solving narendra vasti so i switched mm. that and uh, it actually made me more uh, like this it actually made me feel discouraged and uh, it was i had to invest a lot of time to solve questions so i realized it's not worth it yeah uh, stick stick to the book you are currently using don't uh, shift them right now it's too late to be honest solve questions from mocks bro like that's yeah solve I'm mocks doing. by the way guys do check out our mocks as well uh, if you want additional practice i'll quickly share the link uh, how much did you score in mocks so that we can judge your preparation level see if uh, you should target at least uh, if you are getting anything around 270-80 try to in slowly increase it up to 330-350 maybe more and just just maximize your score like it's not necessary necessary to score 450 like uh, mm -hmm. uh, those people who are asking about english staying time on english is not that recommended by me mm -hmm. like but yeah. it's just my personal view so Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, as far as I remember, like uh, I gave a couple of mock tests on MBI, but I scored around 295 and in actual bits that I got around 300. Let's conclude guys, uh, thanks a lot for attending the session and mentors, uh, special thanks to you for taking out time.
and uh, good luck guys uh, hope most of you reach pit and it, it was fun conducting this session good luck thanks so thanks a lot for doing this guys so, yeah thank you all the mentors and stuff